In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're continuing with, I think, the key... Um, chapter of of the divine will to understand this and this is volume 17 may 4th 1925 jesus tells louisa that um uh, the reflection of the trinity is going to be on earth uh the, the the third mission you have the mission of our lady the mission of jesus and now the mission of louisa this third mission uh jesus says is going to help people uh begin to understand this abundant life this abundant love this abundant light of god so Jesus says, uh, he says, uh, 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 so he says, basically, I, uh, I did this with the son. Um, uh, he says that I centralized in the son all the light, which was to serve up to the last person. He says, this son, uh, he says, it, it, us being in the light of the son helps us understand our triune God. So he says, so I did with my dear mother. He says, I filled the blessed mother up with so much grace that our lady uh, can, uh, can give graces to all without exhausting even one of them. So here, what you're seeing with our lady is she's full of grace, give, giving it to all of humanity as our mother. She's going to nurture us. She's going to protect us as she nurtured and protected Jesus, this is her triumph. We become like her son. So Jesus says, so I did with my holy humanity. What Jesus says, what Mary did with all the grace given to everyone through God gave all the grace to this woman, Mary, Theotokos. And he says, so I did with my own, my own holy humanity. There is no good which this life of Jesus does not possess. He says, even his very divinity, to be able to give it to him, whomever wants this share in divinity. And this is what the priest says every day at Holy Mass. Puts the drop of water in the chalice. May we share in the divinity of Christ. Think about that. Those words are so powerful. He says, he says anybody who wants it can have this. Jesus says, I've done everything. I took your place. I took your sinfulness. I took your worry, your fear, your anxiety, your complaints, and crucified it, and my mother was with me. Why? So we, we, you could have our life. We could give you our life. So Jesus said, and now I did it with you, Louisa. I, Jesus, enclosed in you, Louisa, my most holy divine will, and with the divine will, I enclosed myself. This is why we love Louisa. He says, he says, listen to what he says. I did this with my holy humanity. He says, I, I, I gave this to my mother, and now I'm giving my, my life to you. He says, enclosed in you is my divine will. And with the divine will, I enclose myself. That's why Jesus says, or Louisa says, you know, from my interior, Jesus came out. Why? I enclose in you, Louisa, my divine will, and with my divine will, I enclose myself. I enclosed in you, Louisa, its knowledges, its secrets, its light. As Jesus enclosed within Mary, uh, the, the kingdom of redemption, he says to Louisa, now I'm breathing into you, Louisa, the kingdom of sanctification. I enclosed in Louisa, Jesus says. This is what he's saying to us. The knowledge is about the divine will, the secrets of the divine will, the light of the divine will. Where do we go to hear this? Where do we go? We go to Louisa, the one who possesses this. He says, I, Jesus, filled your soul up to the brim. So much so that what you, Louisa, write is nothing other, listen to this, than the outpouring of what you, Louisa, contain of my most holy divine will. She's filled to the brim with a divine will, a human born of original sin. 
This is what the mother of God had, Theotokos, the mother of God. That's what Jesus, the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. Now Louisa possesses this. And God wants us to possess it as well. So what has he done? He's given us the book of heaven. Read all 36 volumes. Study it. And, and you, you'll understand everything's ready. Everything's done. Everything's complete. It has to be known now. By whom? By us. This is what he's doing. He says, even now this divine will serves you alone, Louisa. And a few glimmers of light serve some other souls, like the, the spiritual directors of Louisa. He says, I, Jalisa, I, Jesus, I am, this is, he uses God's name. I am content because being light, this light that's filling Louisa, the sun that's filling Louisa, it will make its way by itself more than a second sun in order to illuminate the human generations to bring about the fulfillment of our works. He's talking about the triune God's works, that our will, the triune God's will be known and be loved. See, Jesus, Jesus has got this all planned. He, he needs us to cooperate. He says right now, and again, this was 1925. It serves you alone, Louisa. He says, with a few glimmers of light to other souls, I'm content because being light, it's going to, the whole world's going to be lit more than a second sun. So what does Padre Pio say about Louisa? See, Padre Pio knew this. When he talked to Aunt Rosera, this is Father Bucci's aunt, when she, after Louisa died, she went all over Rome. We've got to get Louisa to be known, you know, and she went to see Padre Pio and Padre Pio said, Luisa, he, she is a second son that's going to give light and life to everyone and everything. Jesus, Padre Pio said, uh, she, she's not only a second son, that the third millennium, the next millennium, he says, will focus on Luisa. The world and the church will focus on Luisa Picaretta in the third millennium. Shiji, Padre Peel said, just what St. Honorable de Francia said, uh, Luisa's more, she's, there's more of heaven than earth in Luisa. And, and this is what the church is discovering at this point, uh, who Luisa is and worldwide. See, this, this is what Jesus said. When these writings come out, it will change the face of the earth. Everything's changing right in front of us. Everything is changing. He's, you know, he says, even though it serves you alone with a few glimmers of light to other souls, Jesus says, I am content. Why? I'm, I, I know what's going to happen, Jesus says. Be, <coughs> being light. Now think about this. We've talked about the, 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 win, the winner of darkness. Being light, it will make its way by itself. More than a second sun. And in order to illuminate the human generations. It's going to change the face of the earth to bring about the fulfillment of God's works of creation and redemption. If it's not yet done, creation is not yet complete. Redemption is not yet complete. Why? You, you look in the book of Revelation, the angels are bound. They're, they're, they're bound like this. They've been bound like that from the beginning. Because their only job is at the end of the world. When they are released, when their bonds are released, when they begin to shake the earth, what, what does that mean? It's, it's, when, when the angels are released, it's, it's going to be uh, new heavens and new earths, uh, new suns. It's, it's going to be, it's, it's there one angel one arm of an angel is more powerful than all the nuclear weapons combined going off at once. All of them. It, it's just like a, a toothpick compared to an oak tree. The angels are ready. As soon as God says, go, you know, mark all my children. And that's what Our Lady is doing. Uh, before everything happens. So what's, what's happening? He's closing shop here. Why? The kingdom is coming. The new Jerusalem is coming. The new heavens, the new earth are coming. 
God's getting us ready. So what does he say? He says, to illuminate the human generations, to bring about the fulfillment, the completion of creation and redemption, our works, and our divine will will be known, our divine will will be loved, our divine will will be possessed by people. That's why it will reign as life, as, as their life. The divine will becomes our life within souls, within humanity. And he says, this was the purpose of creation. See, it's not fulfilled yet. This was its beginning. This will, will be its means. This will be the end. It's the, it's the, the end. What does that mean? It's not the end of the world. It's, the, it's a new beginning for all of humanity. We're going to finally, it's not really new. It's what God wanted when he breathed into Adam and Adam lost this. So now what does he do? The mother of God comes to earth. The son of God comes to earth. Why? To, to redeem humanity. We have been redeemed. And Jesus now says, now I'm going to sanctify the earth through the power of the Holy Spirit. So they bring Louisa. They breathe into Louisa, this rule of God, this breath of God, this new beginning for all of humanity. Read the volumes. Read the volumes. Study the volumes. Enter into this gift. Uh, you're going to be so astonished of, of how much our God loves us. This is the purpose of creation, that the divine will be known, loved, and possessed by humanity. This is why we're alive today. He predestined us to live at this time, to give us this gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies. God destined, <laughs> predestined us to live at this time, to possess this gift with Louisa. He says, you know, he says it was not time for Moses to be baptized Catholic. It was not time for King David to receive the blessed sacrament because it wasn't time yet. It's just like it's not time. It wasn't time for the saints to possess this gift. We've entered into this new era. This is why John Paul II said at the canonization of St. Annabelle de Francia, we're going to enter a new and divine way of holiness, a new and divine way of holiness. This is what Jesus and Mary are teaching us. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, an astonishing gift, an amazing gift, and he's asking us to begin to live this abundant life. So we'll end there with a prayer. May the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. <coughs> we ask this in Jesus' name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, we pray that all the little children of the Holy Divine Will can become divinely healed. And we pray that this prayer becomes God's command. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.